If you don't run your inner axle year round, you're a steering wheel holder. Let me show you why. Without your inner axle in, you only have your weakest gripping set of duels giving you all your accelerating and your stopping force. So your jake brake is only working off that one set of duels. Now with my inner axle in, I have my weakest set of duels on each axle gripping. I'm not fully locked up and I can still turn that way. Now with my inner axle still locked in, so each axle is engaged, when I lock my diffs up, that is when all my tires are turning at the same time. Now I'm gonna show you how to put all of that into practice. Right now, I'm coming down a hill with both my interaxle and my diffs locked up while jaking. I'm going too slow for the hill and my jake is too strong, so my axles are starting to slip and skip. You can see that they don't all lock up at the same time. Even though some of my axles are locked up, my chained axle is remaining to turn and it is remaining gripping and giving me jaking power. I recover from this by both increasing my speed and turning my jake down. I'm not only relying on my jake here, I'm also dragging my brakes at the same time as my jake. You can still corner while your diffs are locked up as long as you're not accelerating. The weight transfer from your jake actually helps you steer. It's not until you accelerate that you push straight, so you can actually use that to your advantage. Now be careful, don't accelerate around corners with your diffs locked up. I would have pushed straight through this corner and if you run your diffs fully locked up on dry ground, you can hurt it. 